What are the top three listings that came on the market that are the most expensive in Manhattan for the last week? Well, we're about to go over it. I'm Charles Botenston from Botenston Properties International based here in Midtown Manhattan in New York City. And we're going to be reviewing the top listings that came on the market. And we're actually going to start with number three. Uh, we're going to be going over to a single family residence. This is in the West Village, built in 1910, about 6,000 square feet, outdoor space, five beds, five and a half baths as a single family residence. That's really nice. Listing price is 30 million. This is on Bank Street. And we'll go through some of the photos. Obviously, got a really nice. So this is the layout right here. Nice downstairs. You have a, a good storage. You have an elevator, which is great. Eat-in kitchen. Here's the living room all the way up. I wonder what the rooftop looks like. There's the outside. Beautiful outside, by the way. This is what you want. The tree-lined streets. Beautiful structure. I love the, the brick is just immaculate. Clearly, this is done very re recently. You can see the recessed lighting in there. I love how they blocked out the TV or maybe probably art, actually. That was art for privacy and they're probably expensive to say the least. This is where, I don't know, maybe you'd be going for your breakfast table. Maybe that's probably looking outside. That's probably the first floor. So you'd be, yeah, right off the, the door, the entrance. So that's that might be where the, the folks first eat. And then you come in here. I wonder if that's wood burning fireplace, but you could even just tell by the ceiling how much money was put in here. You have recessed lighting really love that lighting up top at least the the fixtures and i'm just, that might be photos on the left side that, that blocked out but this kitchen is stunning i love those doors in the back that's really really nice and then the walls in the back as well that's just private that's really nice i wonder if they have an outdoor space yeah look at that that is stunning and just just immaculately manicured. You probably have storage on the left side, definitely electrical. You clearly have irrigation out here as well. You got a nice little bench for, you know, going outside and reading the book. And then you have a little area that's probably, you know, winterized, but it's just immaculately clean. And then there you go. There's the money shot back at the house. Downstairs, you know, I'll just throw it out there. Some people don't want the kitchen down there. They, they prefer it upstairs, but I like that to be honest because that's right off the kitchen and that's where you're going to be doing all of your kick cooking a lot of people they sometimes want it on the first floor it's really preference it's up to what whatever they want but that's you can just tell by the brick how nice it is you have this beautiful tree as well and the bathrooms i'm assuming just oh there we go we got a full <laughs> we finally have a full view on this that's all on me uh, that's the primary bathroom, deep soaking tub, double sinks, leading out to an area you're going to have the dressing room, changing room. Love the wood. You could tell by the door and the rivets that this is very well made. And the staircase, that might be recessed lighting in the bottom of the staircase, which would be a crazy detail to include. That would be an amazing detail. So going back to the floor plan, let's move it down a little bit. So obviously by Deborah. 15 Bank Street, 1910, 22 by, I'm assuming 100. And it was meticulously renovated by Stephen Harris to the highest standards. This just looks really nice. And top of the line, especially for the West Village, there is a building that's getting renovated on Gay Street in the West Village. There's also a building that's getting renovated on Waverly it is two townhouses combining into a single family on Waverly between Christopher, right around there, Waverly and Christopher, I think it's Waverly. And there's another townhouse on Christopher Street. So you want to buy this done because I actually sent those other ones out to people, the one on Gay Street and the one on Christopher Street. And they did, they did not want any part of this because of all of the department of buildings and just everyone has to meet about windows and handles and it's just crazy what they have to do for the historical society in, in the district around there, which I'm assuming this is going to have a brown sign, which makes it um, historical. It clearly is because where it's located. What's really nice about this location, too, is this park over here on West 12th Street, that little, I don't know if my arrow is coming up, but that uh, that area... Yep. Okay, good. My arrow's coming up on the on the screen. I didn't know if it was. But this area over here, that crowd that park gets a little crowded. I'm not gonna lie. I, I take Seventh Avenue down when I, I'm coming back from New Jersey from a, a long bike ride. 
But this is the nice part. You take Bank Street all the way down to here and now you're running, you're biking, you're walking, you have strollers. There is so much to do. I live on Christopher Street. There is so much to do in this area. It is unbelievable between this whole area. I think this is gonna be the soccer field. I think it's gonna be the soccer field or it's north of, no, this is gonna be the soccer field. This is under construction right now. It's gonna be crazy what they're building there. And then you have a little island, I think they call it. That's really cool, really nice touristy spot. Then over here, you have the largest outdoor, I think it's the largest outdoor park. It's on the roof and it's it's the whole roof and it's beautiful to run up and down these whole areas. So this area is teeming with great restaurants, mom and pop shops in just excellent places to just grab a drink grab food grab delivery nothing is commercialized nothing is gigantic no big buildings everything is really quiet especially on the street this is a really good townhouse and congratulations to deborah on this listing and let's go to what the monthlies are you're looking at it might be at the top it is annual tax 91k so all right so under 10k am i doing that math right 10K a month. I'm doing that math right. I don't know. I, I did not graduate uh, with stellar degrees, but that's why I became a real estate agent. Moving on to another townhouse, also in the West Village, 37,000. Uh, 37, At one time, it was probably 37,000. 37 million, eight beds, eight baths. And you're looking at 7,600 square feet. So this is a monster. 7,600 square feet. Just going back to the difference. This is 6,000 square feet. So this is an extra 1,600 square feet, extra three beds. Henry, great guy, did a deal with him. And this is, oh, talking about Waverly. This might be, no, this isn't the one I'm thinking of, but this is gigantic. I wonder what the interior is like. Nope, you might need to be doing what you want. Yep, so there it is. It's two adjacent townhouses and you will be combining it. So it's 20 and 22 Bank Street. That's wild. That is a combination in a half. That's why it's 7,600 square feet. So I apologize on that. I was not ready for that. I'm taking this clear and day. Exterior square footage, nearly 2,000 square feet, including front yard and rear garden. Wow. That is going to be unbelievable. Whoever takes that over, it, I think it's a dual listing. I think actually it's a dual listing with Deborah and Henry. I saw that on the internal system. So let's move it on to the, let's make this a little bit larger. So this is, <laughs> this is literally right near um, 15 bank. That's hilarious. I didn't, I was not expecting that. I think this is actually, no, the one that I saw was on Charles Street down here. That's getting renovated. That's going to be 23. I think he wants 23 million for it. Uh, but that is really funny that Deborah uh, is also going to be putting that on the market as well. Very similar price range, 37 million, 30 million, um, 1845, 1845. Hers was 1910. This is 1845. That is that is that's a healthy that's a healthy amount of time to be in new york city that building is incredible shape you know obviously the interior has to be combined that's going to be a lot of money to do but you also might have an eight bed eight bath two and a half baths 7600 square feet in the west village on bank street for 37 million dollars 37.5 i'm sorry and that's by uh, Henry, go check him out. Moving on to Central Park West. 15 Central Park West by Tyler, who is coming in with a duplex penthouse at 40, uh, $48 million. So if you don't know 15 Central Park West, it was the premier day premier. I think it was 2006 it launched. I could be wrong on that, but it was mid 2000s. Uh, and it was by far the largest sellout of any single building ever completed for years. I think 157 might have trumped it, but now someone correct me on that one. But here's the interior. So you're looking at up here, 5,700 square feet, five beds, seven and a half beds, duplex. This 
I hope this is not renderings because this kitchen looks immaculate. Unbelievable. I love this waterfall style stone. And obviously this is probably all matching up top. So it essentially was one piece and then they folded it down. The floor all marble as well. I love the color scheme in here as well. The sconces that are, or at least the recessed lighting on the left and right side, but this is just so minimalistic. That's the way everything should be done. Obviously the oven in the countertop as well. And you got the sink over here. That's a very interesting uh, area for the sink. You have everything completely separate. Just th this almost has to be renderings. Almost has to be renderings. Like this is unreal. Yeah, this is, I got to read the description for a second before I actually start digging into this. A completely unparalleled opportunity presents one of the only private residents in the world designed. Okay, reimagined. And obviously Robert A. Stern, Robert A. M. Stern, I'm sorry. Uh, 100 feet of direct central park foliage on the 16th, 17th floor. So you are clearing the treetops. I'm sorry, I could be dumb, but I just want to make sure, is this actually renovated? And of course the building is amazing. I don't know, it, it is obviously the location for those that are outside of the city. You know, the location is immaculate to, again, if you are running, biking in the morning, you have strollers, you want to meditate, whatever you do in the mornings, your exercise is this large piece of property called Central Park. And then obviously you have Com Columbus Circle, which has very high end, any kind of buying that you want to do. And if you wanted to go to the West Side Highway, go a little bit further south and you go to obviously Hudson Yards for additional expensive buying you know i i would say this might be a primary residence this is probably going to go to a banker I'm, I'm just speculating this is going to go to a it's going to be a primary residence he has multiple residents one in miami one international one in Vail, or somewhere in colorado or utah and this is stunning uh great listing on tyler you know i i actually he's he's an excellent guy i um i didn't meet him but he spoke at something and he's a very, uh, very charismatic, very, I, I like his style. I like his style a lot, but you can clearly see, is this the actual terrace outside or is those just floor to ceiling windows? I don't know how they put floor to ceiling windows in there. Just very unique. Let's just go through it. Obviously everything is marble. Everything is very chic. This is just unreal design. Clearly you're coming in here and baby, that's a heck of a kid's room. There's the primary and an absolute stunning staircase obviously this is all renderings done and i wouldn't even want to know the price tag to flip this thing upside down and now we're going to start going to the amenities obviously this pool i'd be using all the time as a triathlete and eating business and here's the layout this is what we all wanted so the entrance is the elevator bank to here you got the spiral staircase here and Okay, so this is essentially your living area. I'm lost. Oh, here it is. I didn't see this. My apologies. <laughs> I'm seeing M. I'm like, what does M stand for? M stands for the area you're actually going to be eating at called the dining room, Charles. And obviously it's proposed floor plan. And then you have one powder room over here. Very interesting floor plan, to be honest. And here's all the bedrooms. I would love to know. So it's kind of hard on here. Sorry about that. This is north. Wow. So you got north over here. Then you got east. So this whole side right here is 100 feet of Central Park. And that staircase, if you could do, is stunning. And of course, this is an amazing floor plan. So those are the most expensive, a 30 million, a 37.5 and a $48 million place. You got two townhouses as coming in as number one, I'm sorry, number three and number two. And then you have an unbelievable condominium duplex 16, 17 floor right here by Tyler. I would definitely check these out. It would be very interesting. I would speculate that the townhome, at least the townhome that's done for 30 million would probably get scooped up first because the combination, you know, I, I live across the street from someone who bought an, a, a, an old school 
not old school, but an old school. And it took years. Granted, it's a school. And he paid, I think, $53 million. It went into a three-way bidding war. This was before COVID. I think it was before COVID. And that took many years to come up to date. And that was probably before, you know, what is going to be experiencing now, which is a backlog with the state, with the city, the Department of Buildings. And of course, you have to make sure that the windows and everything else is historical to 1910, 19 or 1845, which was the second one. 1910 was the first one when it was constructed. So if there is anything that you actually saw you liked, uh, send us over an email at info at botanston.com, as well as any listings that I missed. So I can definitely check it out. We're going to be coming every single Friday and giving you the new listings that have sold. I'm sorry, the new listings that have come on the market. We might do the ones that have been put in contract. Have a great week. Subscribe to the video and I will talk to you.